this guide gives you some suggestions on how to fix apps when they're playing up on your Fire TV stick. Now, it's not going to fix every problem, but it sort of goes through the most popular ways of uh, fixing things. So first of all, a really simple thing to do is to restart your Fire Stick. Now, when I say restart, grab your remote control, press and hold the picture of the house until this menu appears, then let go, and then keep pressing the right button until settings is highlighted in orange. Press the middle button on the remote control, then go down and then go across to the right until you get to My Fire TV. Press the middle button on the remote control, go down to restart and press the middle button on the remote control, then press the left to highlight restart and again press the middle button on the remote control. The Fire TV stick will now restart. Please be patient with it. It's going to take a little while to restart. So I'm going to pause this video while mine's restarting. OK, so my Fire TV has now restarted. It sometimes does take a while for the menus to come up, so just be patient with that. So try the app again, see if it's now behaving itself. If it's not behaving itself, the next thing to try is to unplug your Fire TV stick from the main. So just pull this cable out here from the side of the Fire TV stick and leave it out. And whilst you've got it unplugged, if your problem is to do with buffering or anything like that, then you might as well unplug your router from the main. So just grab your router, OK, unplug the power cable from the back of the router and leave it unplugged for a good 10 minutes at the very least, more if you can. Let the power drain out of both devices, both your Fire TV stick and your router. Leave them unplugged from the mains. So leave them for a good 10 minutes. Don't be tempted to plug it back in after five minutes. Let the power properly drain out. And then after 10 minutes, grab your router again. OK, plug the router back in first. So plug that in. It will usually take around about five minutes for the router to re-get itself set up again. So leave your Fire TV sticks unplugged for another five minutes. After another five minutes after plugging your router back in, grab your fire stick, OK, and plug that back in. There we go. So plug that in and your fire TV stick will then start up. Wait for it to start up. And again, try the app again. If you've still got problems with the app, then uh, next thing to do is to check that you've got enough space on the storage of your Fire TV stick. So grab your remote control, press and hold the picture of the house until this menu appears, then let go and then go across to settings. When settings is highlighted in orange, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down and across to applications. Again, once applications are highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to manage installed applications. Now, on mine, I've got about three quarters of the space available. I've got 1.94 gigabytes. As long as you've got over 1.00 GB, then I think you've got enough space for most things. If you've fallen below one gigabyte and you're in the MB section, the megabyte sections, then I think you, you should really consider cleaning out some of your apps or removing some apps. So best thing to do is to go into manage installed apps that's if you've, like I say, if you've got less than one GB and uh, just go through and any apps that you don't want on there, just highlight them, press the middle button, OK, and go down to uninstall and uninstall them. OK, if there are any apps on there that you want to keep and you've noticed that the cache is quite large, then what you can do is you can again go into that app go down to clear cache, press the middle button on the remote control and the cache will be deleted, which will free up a little bit more space. But obviously, if you can go through and see if there are any apps that you really don't need. Some of them you won't be able to uninstall. A lot of the Amazon stuff, unfortunately, there's no option there to uninstall. The best you can do is just go to clear cache on that. Don't be tempted at this stage to clear the data because if you clear data off of there, it will wipe everything out of the app and you'll have to reset it up again from scratch. But usually clear, ca clear cache or cache if you're American, that will clear out the temporary files as such. So the next thing we want to check, if you're having trouble with buffering, then uh, just want to check the internet connection. So grab your remote control, press the back button 
a couple of times so you're back to this menu and then go across to network press the middle button on the remote control and what we want to do is we want to press the play pause button on the remote just to check the status of the network so there you go so it's telling me that it's connected to Wi-Fi and the signal strength and channel quality is very good now if any of these are saying that the signal's poor or bad, then really what you've got to do is you've got to try moving your router closer to the Fire TV stick or your Fire TV stick closer to the router. If you can't do that, then the next best thing is to go out and buy a mesh Wi-Fi network. Don't even think about buying one of these cheap repeaters uh, because they just don't work to be quite honest with you they're so problematic a mesh wi-fi network it is quite expensive compared to the old repeaters but they generally do the job and stick the mesh repeater halfway between your router and your fire tv stick to give your fire tv stick a good signal don't try sticking it right next to your fire tv stick because generally the mesh repeater has to receive a good signal to pass on a good signal so generally a good rule of thumb is somewhere near to halfway between your current router and your fire tv stick is a good position to uh, replace the mesh repeater the other way you can do it is if you're good at running cables is you can buy one of these that plug in to your fire tv stick there are special ones that are designed to go with a fire tv stick so make sure when you're looking for these it's called an ethernet adapter for fire tv and all you do is you grab your ethernet cable okay and you grab your modem or router plug one end into the router like so and the other end into the fire tv stick ethernet connector and that gives you a good ethernet connection on your fire tv stick now obviously you can only do this if you're good at uh, cabling uh, you can run i believe ethernet cables will run up to 100 meters which is 328 feet the other alternative if you're not good at running cables is you can still buy one of these ethernet adapters but you can also buy a pair of these power line adapters where basically one goes next to your router and the ethernet cable plugs into the back of the router and then the other end plugs into the socket at the bottom there and then the other plug goes down by your um, fire tv stick and you get another short ethernet cable okay and you plug that end into there and then the other end of the ethernet cable will go into the ethernet connector for your fire tv stick and that should give you a good connection doesn't always work because it really depends on the quality of the electrical cabling in your house because basically it sends the internet signals through the electrical cable electrical cabling in your house they're, they're quite cheap they're cheaper than a mesh network these are in the uk a set of these are probably around about 25 pound to 40 pound for a reasonable pair if you're looking for a professional uh, pair then you could pay over a hundred pounds so uh, but but they will give you a much much better internet connection to your fire tv stick unfortunately the wi-fi receiver in these fire tv sticks is not very good you might get a very good signal on your mobile phone near the tv or near where your fire stick is but unfortunately the fire stick just doesn't pick up a signal anywhere near as good as as, as most other things for some unknown reason but like i say that's only if you're showing that you've got a marginal or a poor signal if you've got a fair good or very good signal then that's unlikely to be the problem but uh, i must admit i always do recommend if you can try keeping your router as close to the fire tv stick as you can um, or plug it in via an ethernet cable as it's just so much better so let's just come out of that so i've just pressed the back button a couple of times the next thing to do is go back into applications there press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to manage installed applications press the middle button again and then find the app that's giving you problems okay press the middle button on the remote control go down 
and then go to false stop and press the middle button on the remote control and then go to clear cache okay and that will clear the cache on there try the app again if that still doesn't work then the next thing to do is to once again go up to false stop okay go down to clear data press the middle button on the remote control and press the middle button again to clear data and then try the app again so let's launch the application and like I say when we do clear data that clears out all the settings in the app so uh, there we go so it's asking me to allow downloader to access files again because this is the app that I cleared the information from so I'm just going to allow that and then press the middle button again to get rid of that so there you go the apps now working but however if it wasn't working okay what we can do is we can uninstall the app so let's just go down to uninstall there press the middle button on the remote control press it again to uninstall and the application is now uninstalling and then what we'd have to do is we'd have to go and re-download it again so let's just do that I'm just coming back out of that menu by pressing the back button go to home then go to the magnifying glass and find your app again so my app was downloader so there you go and uh, there you go let's just select it by pressing the middle button and then press the middle button again and it's now queued and it's now downloading and it's now installing and there you go it's now installed I can try it again and let's just see if it opens yes it's open so I can allow that again and there you go one last thing I just thought of was if you are having problems with buffering or app stopping then uh, it's a good idea to check the speed that your uh, Fire TV stick is receiving. So just go up to the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner there and just search for speed. OK, and then go down to speed test there. Press the middle button on the remote control and then just highlight that speed test that uh, that one there. Press the middle button on the remote control. Press it again to download. And uh, this bit might take a bit of time just depends on the speed of your internet connection so just be patient with it as you can see mine's downloading it is taking a little bit of time and once it's finished downloading it will start installing which will take another sort of few seconds so uh, I'm just going to show you this and there we go mine's now installed so I'm just going to press the middle button on the remote control to open it and there we go it's now running a speed test so ideally if you're streaming stuff then uh, your speed should be above six that's the down speed should be above six the up speed it really doesn't matter so and it will tell you here with regards to the wi-fi strength and quality what type of streaming you're going to be doing so i'm saying on here that mine's okay for 720 hd okay for 1080 fhd it's okay for 1080 gaming but also i can see here really my internet speed is not good enough for 4k qfhd or 4k uhd ultra hd so that's where i'm going to fall down on mine if i start streaming 4k stuff my wi-fi is strong enough but my internet connection isn't fast enough to be able to deliver those uh, streams and uh, it's likely to stop and start or buffer from time to time so if you uh, want to remove this app after uh, installing it just keep pressing the back button until we go back to the main menu okay press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this appears and then let go and then go across to settings once settings highlighted press the middle button on the remote control go down and across to applications once applications highlighted press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to manage installed applications press the middle button on the remote control and then go down and find that one there okay press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to uninstall and again press the middle button on the remote control and press it once again to uninstall so there you go there's a good few suggestions to fixing problematic apps on your fire tv stick thanks for watching you can follow me on twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.